Oh, I, I don't think simply legalizing psilocybin is the way to go. Uh, you know, there, there are people who think cannabis is the proper model and that um, they look forward to a day where there are mushrooms on sale in your cannabis dispensary without any kind of, you know, regulated access except for age. And um, I, I just think it's, you know, using a psychedelic is a much more a consequential act and um, people can really get into trouble. There are real, there are real risks here. And I know there's some risks with cannabis too. Um, and you can argue that's been under-regulated, but, but for people who want to have a, um, a big experience, uh, you know, which is to say a high dose, um, it's absolutely essential you have someone with you. And um, you know, the, all sorts of things can happen. I mean, people do have panic attacks. They have psychotic breaks on rare, in rare in rare events. There are accidents that can very easily happen. Um, people, you know, make mistakes on psychedelics. So, having a sitter of some kind or a facilitator is really important, just at that baseline of protecting you against getting into trouble. But at the other side of it is. Um, to help you make sense of what can be a very confusing experience. And there's enormous value in having someone with you who's trained as a facilitator and can help you um, understand what just happened and, and craft a, nar a useful narrative out of what, whatever happened to you. So I think that the benefits... I mean, there's a safety, there's a, there's, a, there's a, you know, risk reduction aspect to having a facilitator, but there's also a benefit in terms of um, making the most of the experience. So I, I'm very intrigued by the Oregon model. I, I think it's, um, uh, and, you know, is it perfect? I'm sure not, but you guys are going to learn things that, you know, others will benefit from. I mean, you know, there's an initiative, a law that is under consideration in California for regulated access. Um, and in some ways it's like Oregon and in other ways it won't be. Uh, like, I don't think it, it, it insists on uh, licensed centers. I, I think it just licenses the facilitators and the growers uh, so it can happen anywhere. Um, but, you know, it's still being, it's still being thrashed out. So, you know, they say that the states are laboratories of democracy. It's where you test ideas out and see what works and what doesn't work. And um, so I'm really glad you're going first. <laughs>